everybody, it's Ross, and I'm at my desk, and I'm excited about life. You know, I'm excited about life, not because I don't have problems. Certainly I do. I have circumstances like you and everybody else. But I'm excited today because I got something special that meant a lot to me. Didn't cost any money. And so I was at the prison ministry, women's prison ministry. I'm there every first and third. By the way, thank you, Ready to Go Ministry team, for helping me out with that ministry. But as I was talking and introducing myself, as I always do, because I usually have half of the room is new, and I get about 25 to 30 women that come to the class, Bible studies, two hours. I told them it was my birthday in about 10 days, that I was going to be 56 years old. Well, you know, you tell them that and guess what happens? Well, at the end of my class, guess what shows up on my, on my little desk area that I use? Isn't that nice? Look at this paper. Of course, it, I said, how did this get here? What, somebody's up to something. They all laughed because it was just laid on my desk. And I saw it and I was going like, this wasn't here and how did it happen? So I started asking questions like I would want to. You know, how does it get put together? Where did it come from? When did it happen? Well, it turned out that a lady in class, this is, this is a really interesting story, had gotten this paper, you know, with, I asked, where'd the curly Q paper come from? And she said, a long time ago you were here and somehow we ended up with stationery that looked like this. And she had it in her Bible, it was folded three what, two ways. And she was wondering what she was gonna do with it. Cause her family didn't, you know, her, their birthdays were over, whatever. She, she had this paper with the curly cues in her Bible for a long, long time. Can you imagine that? So it ended up on my desk. And I went like, let, let me hear the story about how it, it came to pass and they told me and this was this was the mind blow that they had put all these notes about 20 25 notes you know each, everybody had their little notes to write they did it while I was teaching class I went no way I'm I, you know I'm usually aware of what's going on in my class they they fooled me they pull one on me. They made it happen. I couldn't believe it. I said, this is great. I've got a lot of birthday cards that are handmade over the years from the, the mission, the women missions. The children have made me cards for my birthday. So I, I cherish them. And certainly this I cherish too. The women at Metro Transitional Center. Thank you so much for my birthday gift. Y'all did one over on me because I had no idea that they were passing this around while I was teaching class. And I'm usually very aware of what's going on in my classrooms, but not this time. So thank you, happy birthday to me. Uh, Metro Transitional Center, ladies, thank you for this gift. It means so much to me. And I look forward to the next time I see y'all. So that's what I wanted to share. Always remember, Ready to Go Ministries is your in-town mission connection. If you want to get plugged into a ministry or anything that's in the community, local missions minded, encouraging, equipping, obedience, servants to the Lord, to a place of service, you've come to the right place. Go to our Facebook page, Ready to Go Ministries. We have two. And then we have a lot of videos and albums. Go and have fun with it. And we'll be glad to encourage you and equip you to a place of service. So until next time, always remember, do what you can, where you can, when you can, the best you can, but do something. Until next time, see you down the road. God bless.